This, uh, this front one uh, behind has got a flat tire, and that's what's screwing things up a little bit. Oh, no. yep. Is that yours right there? No. It, it, it could be mine. Yeah. Oh, get it all there. Put the tire back on. I think the tire's right there. Oh, you're right. Look at they all just moved right up. It was like duckling. I love the way they wiggled the butts. Just like the airport when they're bringing your baggage around. Hop on, Trevor. No, this is organized. <laughs> uh, now, Mark, if you have yours, go backwards. You know, I'll uh, follow mine. Crash! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. We've had a little accident on the freeway. Reminds me of driving up here through New York. Uh, look at that. Not a one is offline. So if you get a group of kids... And you sound surprised. All, the, your program is basically the one that's in there. Okay, you could have one as the leader and then the rest as the follow me. Now, I could have done this with infrared, and, and we're going to do that in a minute. The problem is, is that all of the robots are on infrared. And so for me to control my front robot with infrared would not work because it would confuse all the other robots. That's why I have to use RF to do a Carol. Yeah. Why does it want to go backwards? So I'm just amazed, actually, that they are being as well-behaved as they are. So you guys can 